Jelly Roll has kept no secrets about his and his family's troubles with drugs and alcohol. His mother, his daughter's mother, have all struggled with this in the past. He even went to prison for drug-related charges. Now, Jelly Roll's 15-year-old daughter, Bailey, has shared some extremely disturbing details about her relationship with her mother, Felicia Beckwith, on the most recent episode of Bunny's Dumb Blonde podcast. Felicia has battled addiction for years, and she has been incarcerated herself. She worked hard to become sober again, something Jelly Roll publicly acknowledged in 2020. Yeah, she's home, sober how long? 15 months. 15 months. But his recent testimony to Congress on fentanyl crisis suggested that she had relapsed. And every single day I have to wonder, me and my wife, if today will be the day that I have to tell my daughter that her mother became a part of the national statistic. He hasn't divulged any more details, but Bailey's recent comments do explain how difficult it would have been for him or any father to talk about this. Uh, before going ahead, I must warn you that the nature of the content can be disturbing for some viewers. When Bailey was seven, Felicia, who has fibromyalgia and was always in pain, began to really go downhill. According to Jelly Roll, he said that he could see the writing on the wall, that her pill addiction was spiraling out of control, and he saw her turn into a full-blown heroin addict. Little did we know that Jelly Roll was subtly referring to this all in his testimony. Uncles, friends, cousins, normal people, some people that just got in a car wreck and started taking a pain pill to manage it. One thing led to the other. And how fast it spirals out of control that I'm not here to defend the use of illegal drugs. And I also understand the paradox of my history as a drug dealer standing in front of this committee. The country star and Bunny officially gained custody of Bailey eight years ago, and she's been living with them ever since. Bailey says that in 2020, just two days shy of her 12th birthday, her mom reached out hoping to rebuild their relationship. Jelly and Bunny were supportive of this, as Felicia was now sober and had been released from jail and was living in recovery housing. Things took a dark turn a couple of years later, when Bailey was 14. She went to spend the summer with her mom. The family knew that Felicia had gone back to occasional drinking, but it was understood that she was still off drugs that she had struggled with the most. However, Felicia started providing her underage daughter with alcohol and marijuana, actively encouraging her to participate in both. A young, impressionable Bailey thought this is what cool moms do. But by July, their drug usage had ramped up to a harder substance, something that Bailey refers to as her mother's drug of choice. You know, the first time she tried the drug was after a 4th of July party. As per Bailey, she was already intoxicated and Felicia manipulated her and convinced her into doing it. Jelly Roll and Bunny knew something was off, as Bailey was clearly under influence. It took some time for them to realize it was anything more alarming than normal teenage mood swings. Bunny spoke about how much worse it could have been on the podcast. The most shocking thing for her was that Felicia's sister took fentanyl in front of Bailey, a fight that Jelly Roll is fighting to stop hundreds and thousands of deaths in U.S. every day. They said 190 people a day overdose and die every single day in the United States of America. That is about a 737 plane. That's Bunny said on the podcast, what if she killed her own daughter? Uh, would she have any remorse? Uh, thankfully, Jelly Roll and Bunny were able to help Bailey fight this and get back to being sober. Uh, and imagine all of this is happening while this kid is still just a freshman in high school. They also obviously cut off all contact with Felicia during this time. We are glad that the family has been able to put this behind them and move on. If you all have fought these battles or witnessed other loved ones do so, then let us know in comments. Links to more content on Jelly Roll on the left and right. And link to the full podcast in comments. Please do subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.